essential oils have been used by many cultures around the world for centuries now. And their uses vary between religious purposes to even healing the sick. So join us today as we learn more about the wonderful world of essential oils and why many are going crazy about it as a natural healing alternative. To anyone who does not know, parang wow, essential oils, that's so parang pang zen living, yung mga ano, ganung klasing tao lang. What is it? Essential oils are derived from plants. Mm -hmm. So it can be from the fruit, from the leaves, from the seed. It's like the blood of a plant. Mm -hmm. It is in the oil, so when we apply it into our body, it can help support our body's natural functions to make us, you know, breathe better, relax, to help ease certain you know, stress. Speaking of relieving stress, when I entered this room, sobrang bango. It smelled like a spa. It has this instant calming effect. And that was from um, the from diffuser. This. What oils did you? Well, we did lavender and bergamot. Okay. So this is a combination good for later in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. When you feel super stressed, but you still need to, you know, have some energy and yes. be awake. A commonly known application of essential oils is for stress relief. But with the myriad of essential oils that can be harnessed from nature, there's bound to be one that can help alleviate whatever ails you at the moment. Most essential oils are known as something that removes odor, something that smells good. Mm -hmm. But when you have something that is pure quality, something that's really high grade and good, you can use it to manipulate your body, to change the way you feel, to even change the way you think. Essential oils help elevate your body's natural function. We don't really say essential oils heal you of everything, but it helps your body heal itself. Vicky recommends the relaxing yet mood lifting combo of one drop of peppermint oil and one drop of orange oil for a late afternoon pick me up. So clap your hands together and immediately apply into your nape. And then behind your Oh my ears. goodness, it smells so good. And then squeeze it into your shoulders. Wow. It so instantly goes up and it smells so good. Once you're done, cup your hands over your nose and mouth. Take slow, deep breaths. Just let it fill you up and breathe deeply. You'll notice that the peppermint really helps open up your airways so you can breathe deeper. A lot of the times, we tend to be quite stressed, so we become shallow breathers. So when you can breathe deeper and introduce more oxygen into your blood and your yeah. brain, it helps with light headaches, it helps increase alertness, so you can think better. It smells so good. It's like I was injected with mint and it's all around my body. Wow! And the, the wild orange really changes your mood and disposition. Yeah. There's actually a science behind it. Yes. So as you take it in, you're taking it aromatically. Yes. So the molecules travel into your nose and it attaches to different nerves in your sense of smell. Those nerves are directly connected to your brain mm -hmm. and that is specifically your limbic system. Let's talk about the most common health complaints among Filipinos and the corresponding essential oil or a combination of oils that may help cure them. Some people have a hard time sleeping due to digestive issues. Some people have a hard time sleeping because they can't stop thinking. Everyone thinks lavender is the go-to, right, right. but it's really not the case. So there is another one called Balance. Okay. This is a blend of oils. So what happens is they mix oils that are synergistic. Yes. That means that Individually, they're really good, yeah. but when you put it together, it's amazing. You mentioned key areas where you apply it, like soles of the feet, behind the neck, um, behind the ears. Why those areas? So if you're talking about daily maintenance, you apply it in the bottoms of your feet. The reason for that is your pores are really big down there, so it has maximum absorption. Now, if you're talking about immediate mood change, it's here. Also behind the ears because you have a pulse point there, okay. so it's more quickly and readily absorbed into your bloodstream. Another good thing about essential oils is it's safe and highly effective even for young children. Oils are the oldest form of medicine. It is really safe when used properly. Mm -hmm. So for young children, we highly encourage to dilute it with yeah. fractionated coconut yeah. oil. You use one tablespoon of the fractionated and one drop of let's say, lavender to help them sleep. Thank you very much, Vicky. I enjoyed learning a lot and I'm enjoying, I'm going to look forward to using my own oils at home. Thank you. Mm -hmm.